Uh, meantime, with input prices at an all-time high for cattlemen, it's become more important than ever to produce high-quality forage while also being cost-effective. That was the main topic discussed at this year's forage conference held in Perry. Damon Jones was there and has the details. Once again, the Perry National Fairgrounds played host to the Cattlemen's Forage Conference, where producers got a chance to hear from the state's leading experts. It's an event that not only provides an update on the industry, but also some valuable information. There's a tremendous amount of risk that's inherent in our beef cattle production systems, and a big part of that, of course, is in the forage side of that equation. So we're, we're trying to uh, provide some techniques that might help mitigate that risk both from the forage production side, but also talking about some management side uh, of the uh, marketing of that product. And it's not just the speakers dishing out information at this conference, as producers also get a chance to network while also learning from one another. Yeah, I think you uh, are able to, to meet new uh, producers from all around the state and uh, find out what's working in different areas. And uh, you never know who you're going to meet and uh, how they may be able to help you later on. It's help that's greatly appreciated by these producers, as 2012 was a rough year for the cattle industry. And while different topics might be discussed at this event each year, the key issues remain the same. I, I guess uh, just the cost of production uh, with a high input cost, uh, fertilizer, fuel, feed right now, just trying to limit those and keep those costs down. Now limiting those costs is a lot easier said than done as prices on those items continue to be on the rise. However, with a little bit of proper management, money can be saved. Well, one of the big things with regard to risk management is in uh, fertilizer uh, application, uh, making sure that we're doing a good job of putting that out and, uh, and spoon feeding it out as necessary, uh, uh, providing only what is necessary. Uh, I've been working with a lot of producers, and I'm finding that oftentimes I can save them maybe 10 to 15 percent. As for the biggest way these producers can save money, it's really quite simple. If we can produce good quality forage, that means that we have to supplement less. Uh, and uh, we can really make big savings by uh, really emphasizing forage quality and reducing the amount of supplement that we're having to feed. And that's the main reason these producers made the trip to Perry, as they continue to look for new ways to improve their forage. And while proper fertilization and crop management are essential, those aren't necessarily the most important factors. Well, the biggest factor overall is making sure that we harvest in a timely fashion. Uh, it's critical that we, we get out there when that crop begins to start slowing down. As it gets, gets more mature, the growth rate starts slowing down. We need to act quickly at that point. So quality is really a function of maturity more than anything else. Uh, so that's really what we need to emphasize. Trying to uh, graze those uh, at the optimum times, apply uh, fertilization at the optimum times, and then keeping uh, competition such as you know weeds uh, out of that forage. While different techniques and proper timing were some of the main topics discussed, the most important issue facing producers after a tough year is planning for the future. Those who uh, fail to plan, uh, uh, plan to fail, as, as the old saying goes, and I think really what we need to look at is, is a plan A, B, and C What's going to happen if and when, uh, it's probably more when than if, we get back into dry weather. Uh, what do we do in that scenario? Reporting from Perry, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.